Musica is proudly presented by Rolex. Audacious and disturbing, the world premiere of a staged version of Mozart's Requiem opened this year's Festival Lyrique in Aix-en-Provence. The director Romeo Castellucci and conductor Raphael Pichon have torn up the rule book with their interpretation of Mozart's Mass for the Dead. The Requiem is a work that is sung numerous times a day all around the world. It is a ritual that we carry out for the living, for those of us who remain, not for those who have departed. The director sees it much more as a celebration of life than a celebration of death. We work backwards through life, actually, beginning with... Um, a person at the end of her life on stage, and then it proceeds to move backwards. We have a, a woman in her 20s, and then a nine-year-old girl, and then finishing with a baby at the end. So we're thinking about death in reverse, actually. Thinking about the circle of life. This production really demands everything of the people that are on stage, everything about them that is alive, actually. I think that's the irony of that, that Romeo really loves, that they're dancing and running and, and puffed out and exhausted, perhaps, by the end. The story behind Mozart's Requiem is itself full of drama. Mozart died less than halfway through the composition of his Mass for the Dead. Mozart spoke of death as one of his best friends. We can perhaps sense in his final correspondence that Mozart had a kind of premonition that this Mass of the Dead would become his own. The lacrimosa, it has a great vulnerability, a great fragility. That which is beautiful must also be delicate, must also be perishable, must appear and disappear. And it is the disappearance of beauty which makes it so beautiful. Mozart began and ended his requiem with two soprano solos. Imagine that the soprano voice is the lightest and perhaps the most innocent sounding in a sense um, and that we like to think that when we're born and, and hopefully when we die as well, if you're religious, that we are innocent and cleansed of our wrongdoings and that we go on to a better place peacefully and calmly. I guess he could have chosen that vocal colour for that reason. presented by Rolex.